Ricky? Got a problem here. Ricky? 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 Yeah, it's dead. I checked the circuit breaker in the outlet, plenty of juice there, so I know the microwave convection oven has given up the ghost after 15 years of service in this RV. And Miss Barbara, she needs her microwave popcorn, and we never miss something until we ain't got it. Hi, I'm Ricky from RV Underway. If you enjoy the RV lifestyle and love learning more about it, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Ring the bell to be notified when new content is available. Leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you, and also share our videos. We reached out to our good friends at RecPro. If you need anything for your RV, they've got it. Your one-stop shop. RecPro.com, R-E-C-P-R-O.com. And if you use the discount code RVUSAVE, you'll get an additional 5% off your next purchase. RecPro has sent us a brand new microwave convection oven with a stainless steel finish that matches our RecPro Everchill 12 volt stainless steel refrigerator. And man, do we love it. So we know we're gonna love the new microwave. We gotta get the old one out to get the new one in. So let's get started. Let me start by saying things may be different in your galley. Some RV microwaves are mounted on a plate that's flush in the face of a cabinet. Ours mounts underneath a cabinet hanging over the stove. So I'm gonna show you how things work in ours. You can figure it out in yours. The first thing we're gonna do is remove this T-molding that our cabinets have on the face. It's real easy, but be careful. Hopefully yours isn't glued in. You basically just pull down on it. Don't break it. And as you can see, there's a track in the cabinet structure, and this is why they call it T-molding. So just be careful not to break that. Get it out of the way. Now we can remove this cabinet face here. It's a false cabinet face. And this one is fairly easy. It has pegs and receivers. There's the pegs. And there's the receivers. Makes it easy to take off. Now we have access to the mounting plate. Make sure you secure the breaker and unplug. Just to get it out of the way, I'm gonna tuck it back here out of the way. The microwave in the front has two Phillip head screws that hold it to the mounting plate. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flashlight. We're gonna peek back in here through these holes to see what the arrangement is on the back part of the microwave. We don't know how that's secured yet. Eventually, we'll be taking these Phillip head screws out, letting the front down, and then deal with the back. So let's take a look in there, see what we're up against. I can't really tell, so we're going to ease forward. Now keep in mind, your microwave may weigh upwards of 60 or 70 pounds, so it may be a two-person operation for you, okay? Be careful. I'm not taking those screws completely out yet.
I'm gonna play it safe. Keep this little stool under here so if I do have to let it down or if it gets too heavy for me, it's not gonna fall all the way. Go ahead and take these screws out and have a look. But I'm gonna keep one in my hand just in case I need to put it back in real quick to hold it up there. They're long screws. Keep this one in my hand in case I have to put it back. Probably be on the safe side, take this out, wouldn't it? I got a suspicion that basically the back is resting on part of the frame. Maybe it's got little tabs that sit on top of that frame. We're about to find out. So I'll show you in just a minute, but it just released from that rail in the back. It's actually free. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, get it on the floor. My theory was just a tad bit off. I thought the tabs were on the microwave. The tabs are actually right here and they're slotted holes in the back of the microwave at the bottom that sit right there. So we got it out. Now we got to move on and see how we're going to mount the new one. Now the new microwave convection oven has holes that are in the, well, let's just say they're very close. I'm gonna go ahead and measure everything out, but it also has tabs that will fit on our tabs back here, here on the bottom side in the back. And we have mounting holes, which roughly align to the mounting holes we have up here. So let's go ahead and measure them and see how close we're gonna be. And then we'll fit it into place and do a dry fit and see how that works. I may have to drill some more holes in this one, but we'll go ahead and dry fit it and see how that works. It's very close. Let's see if we get lucky.
You know, that was a great project and it was easy to do. Now, if you're doing it, you might need a second person to help you with all the lifting. So keep that in mind. The only modifications I had to make was to the upper bracket. I had to drill new holes so they'd align with the screw anchors for the top of the new microwave convection oven. And I also had to use the supplied wall bracket in the back because the old wall bracket from the old microwave, the tabs just wouldn't line up. Now all I've got to do is replace the faux cabinet front right up here. And then reseat my T-molding. And there you have it. Everything you need comes in the box. Your hardware, your turntable, your trays, your installation instructions, your templates, and also your instruction manual, along with your filters. Thank you to Rec Pro, your one-stop shop for everything RV. If you need it for your RV, Rec Pro's got it at a great price. Go to recpro.com and type in the discount code RVUSAVE and get 5% off your next purchase. Until our next project, fair winds and following seas. It's that wonderful, sweet sound of popcorn popping in my microwave. <gasps> the very first thing cooked in my microwave. Mm. Popcorn never felt so good.